Hey, it's Heather, and today I got a good one, y'all. Mini burgers. Some people call them sliders. I don't. They're all the rage on menus at bars and restaurants, but you know, kind of an obstacle for the home cook because the buns can't quite get the right buns. Of course, you know, they're the dinner rolls, you can use those, or the potato rolls, they're a little too sweet. Toast, kind of bootleg. Some people even suggest making your own buns. No. But one day, it came upon me in the bread aisle. What could work? Hot dog buns. You just cut them down. You can get four, maybe three, depending on how big you want your mini burgers to be. And it really works out great. I'm gonna do four. You see, I'm telling you, it's gonna work really good. Now, the nice thing about mini burgers is that they're small. You can have a little variety. You may have three or four on a plate um, to be a serving, so you can be adventurous. You wanna try some boursin cheese on a burger, but you're not ready to make that commitment with a full burger? Mini burgers. So today I have two kinds I'm going to do. Uh, regular classic beef and turkey, which is pretty classic these days anyway. Of course, I like to use um, meat sources that are as organic, grass-fed as I can find. And um, my beef here is, is nice, and I minimally mess with it. I don't mix up stuff in it. I just make my little circular patty here. Then I'll put a little salt and pepper and olive oil on it later. Uh, the turkey, I have a harder time finding ground turkey that is, you know, sustainable, organic. But um, you got to be flexible. Can be in this world until the food chain really changes. So I have here pretty much standard Shady Brook Farms and I, I like the product. So here uh, the turkey you'll notice is a little looser, not a problem, but and you can even use chicken or I'm sure there is a vegetarian option. The way I get my veggie patties is that they're frozen. Haven't quite worked that one out. I'll tell you when I do. And I'm going to tell you about my toppings. Uh, like I said, experimentation. This is your opportunity to experiment. I am going with Caramelized onions and mushrooms. Uh, caramelized onions is a step that is absolutely worth learning how to do, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go with uh, my classic favorite turkey burger, which is very basic. Pickle, key, uh, mustard, ketchup, Swiss cheese, ta-da. And then I'm going with, um, you know, an old school classic. Whopper, Whopper style. You can take the girl out of Hempstead, you know the rest. So I'm gonna have just a little, you know, Whopperito, if you will. All right, so now I'm going to do my caramelized onions. I've done this kind of thing um, on the grill. I did it for my grilled sandwich. Uh, kind of different. Uh, basically, caramelized onions are probably one of the most versatile things you can do to just add a nice, yummy quality to your dish. They're also the kind of food that we call bridge foods in the wine world, meaning that if you add a little to your greens or whatever, they just made your dish more wine friendly. So I thought it was worth showing you. And it's not instant, it takes a little bit of time, but totally worth doing. So we're just gonna put these in the pan and we want them to caramelize. So what I'm gonna do now is turn down the fire a little bit, uh, but you don't want them to just be brown, you want them to be soft and cooked through. So what I do is add a little water. And that also deglazes the pan because it's picked up um, a little caramelization on the pan. So you're sort of returning that back to the food. So my onions are ready to come off. Um, they're nice and brown. You can go browner, um, but this is where I like it. And I'm going to take them off and put my mushrooms on. What I could do is just add the mushrooms on top, but most likely I'm not going to use all these onions. I'm going to probably use them for a sandwich tomorrow or maybe some meatloaf or something. They're really good. They keep nice. Okay, I am ready to grill off my mini burgers. I am using a grill pan. I really like them. It's different than cooking, you know, on a regular flat saute pan, so it's absolutely worth getting. Only thing I'm going to put on these uh, burgers is a little olive oil, salt, and pepper. Now, of course, this is poultry. You don't want rare turkey. Mm -mm -mm. So it's going to take a little while. Beef, as we know, we've heard a lot about rare hamburger. But by all means, if you know your meat and you're comfortable with your purveyor, cook it to your desired temperature. All right, so these are about ready to flip. I do want to say one thing. It's probably best to have turkey on one side and beef on the other, because sometimes it can get a little confusing to tell which one is which. I pretty much know it, but, you know, do what works for you. So I'm going to flip these. 
nice little color. And as you can see, they, they shrink up a little bit. Um, so you don't want to make them too small to begin with. You know, with burgers, I'm always resisting the urge to press down. That doesn't really get you anything but a dry burger. So best not to do. So meanwhile, back to the buns, because I really like to toast them. It improves the texture, particularly when you're doing hot dog buns for hamburgers. Uh, sometimes kids don't like it, uh, and you can certainly do it in the toaster oven. Sometimes I take off the burgers and do it right on the pan, but I'm just going to do it on my little grill pan here. And a nice way to get your cheese to melt, of course, is to cover it a little bit. Okay, here I have my bistro, cafe, bar, restaurant, food at home. Mini burgers, three ways, and this delicious potato dish that my Japanese friend told me about. Um, red potatoes already cooked, sauteed, uh, browned, a little soy sauce, a little green onions, quite delicious. And the wine I'm pouring is Luzon Verde. It's from Spain. It's with the Movedra grape. Lovely medium body. So I'm going to take my little bite of my favorite one here, turkey. Pickle all the way, covers the whole burger, uh, Swiss and um, mustard and ketchup. Very simple. Mm. Texture. Mm. Very nice. Works with the turkey and will definitely work with the beef. So, try my mini burgers for the recipe, wine suggestions, and much, much more. Please hit my website, sogood.tv.